Hello friends, it's Phil. This is going to be a little video to do with cut lengths on a lawn. Uh, something that I often intrigue about this time of year. How do you get started? So um, we're going to be doing a little video on that. So do enjoy that. Uh, and uh, if you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks. Cheers, bye. Right, hello friends, it's Phil. And this is one video in three parts so watch to the end to see what happens now what we're doing today here which is my lawn for reference and also for reference is been grown with barenberg extreme it's been grown with that what we're going to do is this little experiment where we're going to cut it at three heights on the heater so if we we'll pop over here what we're going to do is we're going to start off on a a four, then go down to three and a two and possibly even a one just to show you what the what the difference is, what the effect's gonna be. And the idea is to try and discover the perfect length cut for this lawn, which is always good to know. Now with Barenberg Extreme, it should be around about 20-ish mil, I'd hunch, which is between a two and a three, but it might go lower, but it's not very flat. So, uh, so yeah, it's gonna be three parts. So this is part one, part two will be delivered very shortly. Right, hello, right. So this is the first cut and uh, it looks all right, doesn't it? Um, so we're cutting on four on the hater. So it's four, four, seven, 14, 21, 28 mil. And if you look closely at the grass, um, well, if you look really closely, it's kind of like, uh, it feels like there's a loose, a looseness to the, to the top of the grass. So it's in good condition and there's loads of new grass coming through, but it feels like, feels like there's a bit more grass density certainly in terms of what it will look like at a shorter cut so it'd be much more obvious that there's more grass density at a lower cut and i reckon if i go down one we're not going to mo we're not going to notice we're not going to notice much difference but if i go down two settings i think we will notice the difference in the finish. So at the moment, from my eye, if we look carefully, and if we look from a distance, the reason why the stripes are also more dominant is because the grass is longer, therefore it's rolling when the roller goes over it and it's rolling the grass flat. So that's the other thing is once it goes shorter, it's, the stripes are gonna be less obvious. Now, with the next cut, I'm gonna do uh, three 21 mil on the hater and I'm gonna do it in a different direction just so we can see what the difference is so hold out for the next bit coming soon right hello friends it's Phil and this is cut two we're now at 21 mil on the hater and if we look close can you see that we've got much more of a kind of a, much more evidence of that newer, finer rye grass? The grass that comes from Barenberg Extreme. But the grass density, to make it feel more smooth and velvety, let's say, because the good thing about Barenberg is the finer perennials can give you a really fine cut you have to go a little bit closer just to get the sort of the leaf density get the leaf density together get it to pull together sort of thing so if i wave my hand in there there still feels like there's a few it's probably yeah there's a there's a good good seven to ten mil that could come off of that which would come down 
which would then really show the grass density of all the plants marrying together. So if you see that section there, there's a load of grass density there, but you can't quite see it because of the, the longer stuff. So, looks all right, let's see. Cutting at 21 mil. The lawn is not very flat for reference, even though I'm filling in holes and shallows as I go because it was a builder's lawn. It was put in just at the end of a job. And uh, yeah, I've been rebuilding it and seeding it and leveling it gradually. So that's now 21 mil. I'm gonna take it down to 14. And I can tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be scalping certain sections of the lawn where the crowns are and where the shadows are it's probably going to look really smooth really smooth so one last look at the grass density and it's pretty healthy grass if i'd like to say that there's a little bit of power in it which you can see for now i'm not too worried about that and i think i last gave it a feed about two weeks ago with a slow release fertilizer. Anyway, that's um, that's that part. So come back or don't go, and we'll do the last part, the last cut, and then you can see what that looks like. The last cut is coming up in a few seconds. Right, hello there, friends again. It's Phil. Right, so we've now cut the the lawn. It's actually my lawn, Phil's lawn. We've cut it at. Uh, 14 mil on the heater and uh, I'm going to show you a few of the things that happen that I knew was going to happen and also things that are good and things that are bad about cutting your lawn down maybe too quickly but actually this is well fed so it's going to recover um, that said when you're looking at this you're probably going to go that looks all right to me well it does but it's not perfect right so if I go close let's say can you see all of the new grass coming through and that is the Barenberg beast coming through that's the extreme and the extreme loves being cut short and the reason why is because it produces lots of those fine leaves at that lower height so the Barenberg extreme perennial rye grass is surrounded by pretty standard thatchy ryegrass and actually a little bit of power in there as well just for just for flavor so what we're really looking at if you look at this section here that's what most of the lawn would look like if cut regularly at this height but if i go wandering around the lawn now you can see here this section is a little bit swamped by poa you can see the seed head there and also it's not really enjoying being cut short at all if you look there it's a bit more dominant of well actually if you look across the lawn you can see where all the dominant new grass is it's where all the sort of more darker green velvety patches are so let me just show you a hole this is the hole the dog did open bless him and there's another one over there and there was one there that i've sorted out already but you can see also the lighter patches of which i think is quite obvious to see the lighter patches is where the grass there's a crown and the grass has actually been cut shorter and in some cases the less good quality grass is exposed and thatchy Whereas the new grass is looking well tidy. So they're thatchy, they're tidy, they're thatchy. They're thatchy, they're thatchy, they're thatchy. A point there, 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 there. Good grass is here and there. So you can see it. So uh, it looks all right. It looks all right, considering. Now what I'm gonna do, just as an added little test is I'm also going to just now 
double cut this and by double cutting it's going to make the appearance even smoother for the good quality grass and it's probably going to scalp off even more for the grass that doesn't like to be cut shorter now for reference i can't cut this any shorter than 14 mil because the shallows are too shallow and the crowns are too high so the mower will just simply scalp off over the top so uh, yeah, you can see it's a patchwork of colors at the moment but given time and maybe if i cut this in two days it will all even up it will all even up into one much more consistent color and cut so next thing to do is to give it a double cut and then i shall show you what that looks like so wait around for a few seconds i'll be back right hello friends it's phil and right this is the last part you'll be pleased to know and look because we're now cutting <laughs> that's a length that is suitable for gra for gra for, for golfing they'd say I've decided to cut my lawn with my Slazinger golf shoes. Uh, the V100s are the choice of flavour and uh, they give you quite a good purchase when you're being dragged around a lawn by a Hater 48 Pro which runs at about 3.2 miles an hour which is a, say, a fair bit past normal walking pace. But look, let's, let's now concentrate on the learn. So what we've done is we've now done the second pass on 14 mil, the second setting on the heater. For reference, look in the grass bag. That's what's come from the double cut, the second pass. Fascinating, isn't it? You think that you've cut the grass, but then change direction and you cut it again. It's nearly half a bag. So what we've got here now, if I go close, Oh yes, a wonderful lawn to lie down on. If we look really closely at it now, we have like this really consistent density of grass. Not completely filled out, and there's a quite a, there's a fair bit of the old, the older knackered rye grasses. So this finer stuff is the Barenberg dwarf rye grass, and some super fine grasses too. You can see it running throughout the lawn if you look closely, as we are here. So that's now cutting at 14 mil, and the lighter patches are once again where the the mowers either scalped the crowns or by cutting it shorter is exposed the cheaper. Let's say the cheaper, yes, the cheaper old rye grass. So that's looking pretty tidy. Double cut. Well, it's actually had f what, three cuts. And uh, it's looking pretty smooth, I'd say. Now, give this a day to rest and recover because it's actively growing. A little bit of grass will come up, and that grass will be finer grasses for sure. And that's going to give us the opportunity to uh, cut the whole thing really consistently and quite sympathetically for the different types of grass that are here. And it will look much, much better. So now we've got the cut height we want, which I reckon is 14. 14 mil is pretty good on this, even though it's really uneven. But the grass density and the grass happiness, as I call it, will, um, will improve with every cut.
Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you did, or if it was useful, hit like, give us a comment, ask any questions, or even subscribe. And I might show a bit more of this as we progress and improve it. Anyway, that's all for now.